lovely interwebby people. It's the week of E3 and I've been watching all of the conferences like mental. I mean, I watched the Xbox one, that gave me real high hopes for the Xbox, but Sony just came and smashed them all out of the water. This I mean I'm definitely gonna be getting a PS4 first. Xbox isn't even gonna come into it anymore. Uh, watched the Nintendo Direct last night, that was awesome with the new Super Smash Brothers and everyone's favourite new character, the Wii Fit Avatar. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that's in there either. I mean, Mega Man. they got Mega Man in it now and he's got some awesome abilities like the metal disc thing. I can't, I can't remember what it is. Basically, I, I play X, but I've not really played the original Mega Man, so not really up to scratch on the powers. Meteor Fist looked quite cool. It's quite a cool, like, downward stab move. I mean, if you know me, I love Brawl. I'm terrible at it, but I love it. I mean, quite a few times I've just been completely and utterly annihilated by my friends. So, some of the other characters I'm hoping come back to Brawl, because they've announced quite a few. There's Zelda, Mario, DK, Pikachu, Pit, Star Fox, uh, Mega Man, the Villager from uh, Animal Crossing, so that's pretty cool. He's got a load of really, like, trolly abilities, like you can dig the floor out and people just fall in. Uh, but people I want to come back from the other ones are Luigi and Wario, because I know people hate Wario in that game, but I actually play as him, so I want him to come back. He's one of the few people I'm actually any good with. I don't know why. But yeah, uh, also Meta Knight, but he was quite OP the last game. Yeah, so they probably won't bring him back, or if they do, they probably nerfed him terribly. But I did like Meta Knight, it was fun to use. Uh, I mean, post in the comments any people you'd want to see in, uh, in the new Brawl. I'm looking forward to it so much. I think there's a character creator on the DS version I've heard, uh, but I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, um, what other games have taken my interest? Uh, the Order on PS4. That was the PS4 one. Yeah, The Order. That looks cool. Not quite sure what it is. It's kind of like a set in Victorian's time, but they've all got like big ass guns and they're shooting monsters or zombies. Can't exactly remember what it is. So, yeah, basically what I've done is I've only watched each conference once. So, this is really the things that have stuck in my mind from each of them. I've not got. I could have gone back. Well, it probably would have been more professional for me to go back and uh, re-watch them all. So now I could list through all the games I'm excited for and give you a bit more detail. But this is literally off the top of my head. And I know it's a bit late, but I wanted to make sure I watched it all. And, yeah. Because I didn't get around to watching the Nintendo one until... <sighs> gone 2 o'clock in the morning yesterday. Even though it was on at 4 the day before. That's me, uh, dedicated to journalism. But yeah, uh... Other PS4 titles I'm looking forward to. Uh, Second Son, the infamous game. That looks cool. Uh, some of the indie support from PS4 look really, really good. Like uh, Abe's, new, Abe's New and Tasty, or Nice and Tasty. It's Abe's Odyssey, or Abe's Odd World, uh, redone in HD graphics. That's coming to the Wii U and PS4, I've heard. Not sure about the Xbox. Xbox has got. Uh, Minecraft 1 edition, which is cool, it's more like the PC, it's got horses and massive generated maps, which would be awesome, but at £429, I'm not getting an Xbox, and I spoke to my friends, and we are all die-hard Xbox, right, where is it, I carry my Xbox round in a bag with me, this is how much I like my Xbox, Look. See? Xbox. Damn. I carry that around in a bag with me. So... This is... That's just to let you know how much of a hard decision it's been. Well, no, it's not even been a hard decision. That's the disappointing thing. It's been so easy to go, yeah, I'm just going to get a PS4 because it's 80 quid cheaper. And it's better. And they don't put shitty DRMs on everything. Now, I've... That's the thing, I was going to do a vlog when they first announced all the DRM things, but there was so much hate on the internet, I just, I didn't really want to be a part of it, but going through it all, I can understand why they've done it, 
they need to make money from publishers, but if PS4 can do none of that, they're clearly just doing it off their own backs to get money for themselves. They go on about the developers pushing them to do it, but why why don't Wii U and PS4? Have, I mean, Wii U doesn't really count. I love the Wii U, but it's not up to standard there. But yeah, I, I don't understand what's going on. It's a shame because I'm going to miss Halo 5. Uh, Titanfall. Titanfall look cool. There are people being loud outside. Probably going to cut this bit out. But someone's probably going to come around. This could be fun. But yeah, so Titanfall looked cool. It's gi giant mechs, Call of Duty, jumping off walls, like Brink, but better. Uh, what else am I looking forward to? On PS4, Final Fantasy 15. Now, Final Fantasy 7 through 10 were decent. I played all of them, and I liked all of them. And then it went downhill. It went downhill badly. The reason I want to play 15 is one, I hope to God they've got away from the final hallway syndrome of Final Fantasy 13. And two, the graphics look awesome. I mean, if you watch the trailer for it, I'm going to try and. All the games I. All the games I babbled on about, I'm going to try and put links somewhere, maybe on the screen, maybe just down below. But yeah, uh, it, the graphics are awesome. You can't tell when it's switching between cutscenes and genuine gameplay, which is pretty cool. The f battle mechanic looks mental. It's like always moving. It's just something you've not really seen from a Final Fantasy game before. Like, literally like, jumping through corridors and flipping around robots and everything. Because normally it's still pretty much turn-based. I'm hoping it's still turn-based because I do like that aspect of it. That's why I like the older ones, because you can stop and think and plan what you're doing, but we shall have to see. The only problem with it, and with a lot of the PS4 games, it's all very uncanny valley. It's, it's got to that point where everyone looks real, but not quite. And I have to keep reminding myself it's just a game, because otherwise it just freaks me out. I've spoken to a lot of people and they don't like the graphics being this good. So... Hopefully, maybe it's gonna improve to the point where. I mean, Uncanny Valley is a bad thing, you know, because the closer it gets to being looking real, the less people believe it. Which, I mean, it's a video game, so if you're playing a video game, you're not gonna think it's a film anyway, are you? So, but hopefully, hopefully it all goes well. Uh, what other games? Hmm. Pikmin 3? Pikmin 3 looks cool. Uh, they announced a lot of uh, indie titles for the Wii U as well, coming to the eShop. But for some reason, my eShop doesn't work now. I've been trying to... Because every, well, ever since they announced Mega Man for Smash Bros, I've been trying to download some old Mega Man games, because they are expensive to get like in the cartridge. I mean, I've got a lot of NES cartridges, but... Mega Man's like 80 quid, and I don't have 80 quid, it's, it's not good. So yeah, um, that should, what, what am I on about? Oh yeah, the eShop won't turn on for some reason, so I can't get onto it. I don't know whether this is just me being a nonce, but hopefully that, that sorts itself out soon, because I want to play me some Mega Man. I want to I I learn how to, the trailer for Mega Man was pretty cool. I mean, you, it's a Smash Brothers trailer, so you kind of guess what's going to happen at the end, but it still looks so cool. So yeah, looking for the, definitely looking forward to Smash Brothers. Pikmin should be pretty good. Only had the original Pikmin, got stuck on it a lot as a kid, so I'm determined to actually beat one. Oh, Wind Waker HD. I love Wind Waker. Again, never finished it because I am bad at games. Terribly bad. So I'm hoping that I can finish it and hopefully do a review on it. But I probably won't do it as a modern review. I'll probably still class it as a retro pardon me. Probably still class it as a retro review. Because it's an old game. But 
the HD graphics are just going to make the video look a lot nicer, which should be cool. Um, anything else from E3 I am excited for? Off the top of my head, I think that's everything. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 3. That's pretty cool. I like Kingdom Hearts games. They're confusing as balls when you haven't played them all. But I do like Kingdom Hearts games, and I know I've got, I've got a lot of friends that think I'm a bit of a spaz for liking Kingdom Hearts games, but they are genuinely quite good games. So, eat it. But yeah, uh, as for my video front, um, this, this is my video front. Now, um, the four videos are coming along quite well. I've finished doing the audio for the top ten. So I'm just collecting footage for it, which is a massive git for top tens. Because, especially if you're not doing it all throughout one gaming series, because you have to fucking jump between everything and it's a nightmare to record. And my NES doesn't have AV cables, so I can't record from it. So there are some games I've had to do with the SNES versions, because I can't. But yeah, uh... As for the retro review, all the footage is recorded. Just gotta start editing it. Which I've been putting off, to be honest, because I want to make sure it's good. I'm going to be up till 4 o'clock in the morning to try and sort stuff like that out. Uh, let's play. Got a couple of ideas, got a couple of mates that are going to be hopefully joining me to do it. Uh, yeah, a couple of people who aren't on YouTube, a couple of people who are, should be pretty cool. Um, and then the modern review, not even started thinking about that. I mean, I know what I'm going to do, but I want to play all the way through the game, because with me finishing uni, it was a game I bought a couple of weeks ago. I mean, when I say modern review, it's not going to be like stuff that's coming out now. It's going to be stuff I have that's on current gen consoles, because... Again, I'm not made of money. I mean, if this YouTube thing takes off, maybe I will be made of money. I mean, I can have surgery and replace this arm with 50 pound notes. Not quite sure how that would work. Probably slow down the video process quite a bit. So, yeah. Um, what am I yeah, so... That game is... It was a launch title for the Wii U. And I need to play through it all. I've played the first two worlds and no further because of uni and everything. So I'm going to be cracking on with that. And yeah, so those videos are almost done. I've had a couple of ideas for other stuff. Possibly going to be getting back into doing just regular Let's Plays because there's a lot of unfinished series. I have all the footage for them. I have all of the footage for all of the old ones, but it's all recorded on like my old mic and my old capture card, so they're all terrible. So, I'm toying with not releasing them, but I may as well put them out if they're there. They're just... Yeah, so if you bet... Tell you what, I'll put them out, but you're going to have to bear with the fact that they're not going to be the greatest quality things in the world, because I've got six or seven Kingdoms of Amalur episodes, uh, a whole bunch of Max Payne episodes, I mean, I've released two of those, and there is so many. There are so many I've done. I need to finish that game as well. That's a good game. Uh, Walking Dead. I've, contrary to popular belief, I have actually finished the first episode, not the rest of them. So don't post spoilers in the comments, please. But yeah, so I need to put that up. I just got so fed up with watching myself walk around the bloody pharmacy for God knows how long. Even though I know I get out of it, but there's more and more episodes which are just literally me walking around at a pharmacy so what I might do with those is just cut them up a bit I turn the next three episodes into one episode just to give it a bit more vamp because me walking around a pharmacy looking for batteries and keys not fun uh, as for Soul Calibur I've got a couple of episodes I want to finish that there's not going to be much longer left in the story Soul Calibur is a good game uh, but yeah I think that will probably do us so, if you want to leave a comment below, like and make sure you subscribe so you can find out when all of my new videos come out. And I will bid you a good day.
Also, they've announced a lot of Pokemon news. There were two new Pokemon they showed, and there's also a Fairy type, which, I mean, I liked it when they added the new types, but Fairy's a bit gimpy. Although a lot of people thought it was going to be Sound type. But yeah, Pokemon's pretty cool. Click wherever I put the links. Probably going to be down below because if I put them everywhere, then there's just annotations. And it feels like someone's stabbing you in the eye. So yeah. Good day.